The United States Senate never ratified them. So they were stored in the Senate inventory somewhere. And a Senate staffer back in the 50s, I believe, found the treaties. They were lost for quite a while. And they found them. But by then, they were never ratified. So therefore, we lost all our land base. And so the United States Congress put together an act, which they call the Act of 1852, which is the um, Indian Claims Commission. So instead of honoring the treaties, they were involved in numerous uh, litigation court cases uh, where they tried to compensate us for the land that they took. But the, the payback was very minimal. I think each tribal member that was on the rolls, what they call the rolls, uh, government roles, Bureau of Indian Affairs, uh, tribal roles. I think uh, there was two payoffs uh, back in the early 50s, I think $150. And then moving forward to about 1970, another $675. So, I mean, this payment was just a, uh, uh, some, just to pacify us, but uh, it will never make up uh, for the value of our land and all the economy that was uh, produced on our land by outside sources. They call those the 18 lost treaties. There were treaties that were supposed to uh, give us our land back and, and uh, just give us our, our, our rightful duties of uh, controlling our land base and our ancestral land. I'm hopeful that one of these days, younger people, scholarly, legal people, can hopefully uh, try to challenge and address this uh, policy again, make it fair, make, uh, compensate us back, not financially, maybe back with land base, because that's what we need is land. But it was just an insult to us, giving us pennies on an acre. And um, so there again, I'm, I'm hopeful that this uh, issue uh, could be uh, uh, addressed again and, and, and uh, hopefully we're able to uh, get land that we need so desperately.